it is possible that the sex recession, so-called, mm. is partly hormonal. It's partly caused by, I mean, it might partly be caused by women being on hormonal birth control, which is changing their sexuality. Mm. It might also be caused by men being lower T. So the low testosterone for men, do you want to hear my real horseshoe theory for this? Okay. Right. So I learned this whilst talking to Dr. Sarah Hill, who wrote, this is your brain on birth control, right? And um, she taught me that male testosterone levels are mediated by the fertility of the women in their local ecology. So if you were a uh, male in their 20s, but you happen to be around a bunch of other men or a bunch of other grandmothers, perhaps, or a bunch of children, mm -hmm. your testosterone levels drop. Interesting. And what you have are women who are very highly artificially suppressing their fertility. So men are able to smell the t-shirt of a woman and be able to pick the one, the one that they're most attractive to is the, uh, attracted to is the one who is currently at that stage of her cycle. Uh, she, she's currently fertile, et cetera, et cetera. They can see, they've done studies where men watch women's silhouettes walking mm. and the women who are currently uh, during the seven day, you can get me pregnant period, they're the ones that they're most attracted to. The fucking silhouette of the way they walk and displays the and their And high current... heels replicate that. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. The high heels make you walk Move, in that distinct jiggle way, in that that way. Make, that make you look So like you have this ovulating. recursive uh, <laughs> feedback loop of hormonal birth control mm. causes women to select for men who are more providers rather than protectors. They mm. want provisioners, right? They want the uh, academic and the resources more agreeable. They mm -hmm. then either come off or don't come off birth control, but find that they come out of this fucking hormonal fugue state. Oh my God, who am I in a relationship with? But you also have this effect on men too, not only socially in, I noticed that lots of women seem to be attracted to Timothy Chalamet, who's painting his nails and kind of blah, 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 blah. Yep. But the genuine physiological hormonal response to men just being around lots of women who are on hormonal birth control. Now, Processed foods, not enough time outside, not enough time with vitamin D, not enough time with friends. Da, 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 da. But there's a big X factor apparently amongst uh, testosterone researchers who don't know why men's T levels have dropped mm. the amount that they have, right? It's about 1% a year, every year since I think 1950. Wow. So it's like, and then that goes to 100 and then it's that again and it goes to 100. So it's not how we're in minus fucking uh, testosterone soon. But uh, yeah, so hormonal birth control has a lot to answer for, I think. It's a really tricky trade-off, isn't it? Because <clears throat> like, there are clear downsides to having a bunch of low-T men, you know, in terms, of, in terms of fertility, in terms of men and women just fancying each other and like having functional relationships. But also, like high testosterone is also associated with crime and violence. Yeah. So which, you know, do we choose to have a society of kind of sexless, incredibly like online. Placid soy people. Yeah. Who also are quite chill. <laughs> yeah. Don't cause like enormous problems. I don't know. That's like, that's like a genuinely hard thing to choose. Yeah. You could almost look at it kind of like a disposition sterilization. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, but and then it, we had problems with like like this is a real problem with the military. I'm sure you know. Like massive recruitment problems. I thought that was because everyone's fat and got diabetes. Well that too. Right. But also not being interested in it. But men just don't want to wage war. Yeah. We can do it from modern warfare or um, I'm on Reddit. It's probably also partly to do with lack of like f faith in the nation, like mm -hmm. being less patriotic in general. Like the the pool of potentially great soldiers just get smaller every year. And it's sort of fine, I guess, to get away with it because if we're not actually in a hot war and if we have loads of technology, but you can imagine a scenario where that becomes an enormous problem. Mm. Like a but mass mobilization, I don't know how we'd actually fare. The uh, Chinese government banned K-pop. Do you see this? Because yeah, yeah. they didn't yeah. want, what was it they called them? It was like sissy men. We don't want any more sissy men. Yeah. So it was all of the Chinese male role models were like super high T jacked dudes. Mm. And they didn't want this BTS like soy 
like culture infecting them. That's how they. That's what they saw it as. Something I learned about that from um, I had a, um, a Rana Mitter, who's a professor of Chinese history and politics at Oxford, on my podcast. I didn't know this. Um, in China, there's a very strong association between communism and masculinity. And actually, it's the old pre-communist, like Confucian soy boys, basically, you know, the sort of the sort of like intellectual indoorsy right. yeah, yeah, yeah. that's associated with pre-communist China. Mm. And so some of the reaction against feminization through K-pop or whatever mm-hmm. is associated with um anti-communist bullying. In other news, this episode is brought to you by Cozy Earth. We sleep one third of our lives. Do not spend 33% of your life in anything other than unbeatably comfortable sheets. Getting a good night's sleep is the ultimate game changer and the sheets that you have are a massive determinant of just how comfortable you feel. Cozy Earth has the most premium bedding and loungewear that I've ever found. They're made from super soft viscose from highly sustainable bamboo, temperature regulating so you will sleep comfortably all year round and an enhanced weave quality that won't pill. So it's higher quality, will last longer and you will have a more comfortable night's sleep and wake up feeling more rested and revitalized. Plus, there is a 10-year warranty on all of their products. That's how confident they are that they're going to last. But don't just take my word for it. Oprah has chosen Cozy Earth as one of her favorite things for five years in a row now. You can get an exclusive 35% discount site-wide on everything by going to CozyEarth.com slash Modern Wisdom and using the code Modern Wisdom 35 at checkout. CozyEarth.com slash Modern Wisdom and Modern Wisdom a checkout. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you enjoyed that clip with Louise, then press here for the full length, two hour long podcast. Go on. Give it a press.